So I haven't made a video in a week and I definitely have a lot to rant about. The first thing's first is my house is a disaster so I'm cleaning it today. So excuse any messes you see within the background like this bed and this dresser. I've also been working on things and moved my desk back over. I was checking the leg and the leg is still not very stable. We'll see how that goes. Um, I might end up having to get a new desk because I haven't been able to get that leg fixed. My dog is playing with a duck, so he's going to join that in the background. Sorry if it annoys you, but he's a dog and that is what dogs do. First thing I want to write about is people in general. Now, I've came across a few situations the last few days. I would say maybe the past week, past two weeks, past month. A few of these situations are people telling me things. Tell me things I don't want to know. Tell me things that shouldn't be told. Now, when you say things that shouldn't be told, you need to realize that, first of all, that's not right, of course. But if you get told that you're saying these things um, about a person, for instance, you're sharing their nudes or you're sharing personal information and you get told on about it, that's because that person's trying to protect the other person. Now, if you lie about that situation or you haven't done it, that is absolutely horribly wrong of you to do. Stand up for your mistakes, which is something I do all the time. The one other thing a part of that is when somebody else blames you for what they have done wrong and you get the trouble or you get the blame or you get that it came from you originally. Now you can go to that person, you can tell them it wasn't you and explain what happened, which is something that I have done. But if somebody seriously thinks that you are that low and that horrible of a person to do that when people know you very well, then don't have anything to do with them. That's literally how I feel. So the past few days I've been living in misery, 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 miserable, whatever word you prefer to use. I'm gonna turn on this light in the spare bedroom. Um, the people who do stand up for me, I really do appreciate that and you're my friends. But the one thing I do not tolerate Two things, actually, it's not literally one thing. I don't tolerate liars, and I don't tolerate drama in my life. And if you're gonna believe in the drama, and if you're going to twist words in any way to a person, then, you know, I'm gonna want nothing to do with you. And I hope that you guys don't want anything to do with them either. Because that's just them starting more drama. That's actually them passing on drama, or starting more drama, or, Igniting a fire within drama. Now, being an adult, I'm gonna be 26 a week from Sunday. A week from Sunday is my birthday. I've got no time for drama. I've got no time for, so to speak, BS. So, I've decided to make a rant video about it because it is very, very, very annoying. And I mean highly annoying when somebody pushes you to your limit that you don't care anymore. Like, you literally don't care anymore. And I just bit my knees, by the way, if you saw me go down. Because that's where I'm at right now. I stopped caring. And I've lost myself because of a few people. I've completely lost who I was, and I've completely lost track of my life. So I've decided to cut that off. Completely cut that off by the few people who actually stood up for me, um, or been there for me, and I've decided to move on. That's the best thing you can do. And it hurts, because my recent event really does hurt me. Um, you know, and, and it makes me sad, it makes me very, very disappointed in these people. Um, and it's very unfortunate that's happened, but it's happened. And as I talked to my father about it, he said, it's just another life lesson. You're so young still, You've got so many lessons to learn that you're going to keep learning them, whether they are online on a game, uh, via Havo, via Xbox, you know, computer, whatever you play games, you might learn a lesson on there, or you might learn a lesson in real life with real people. Um, 
I think the easier thing is, even though it still hurts, and you're still human and you still have feelings, it's easier to cut things off when it's an online perspective compared to real life. Um, but you have to be able to cut that off even if it hurts. Because trust me, I've been hurting the past week or two. Um, yeah, by the way, dogs need water really bad. So I need to do that in a moment. Anyways, I just had to rant a little bit because I've been so disappointed and so angry. And most of you guys know that I'm in karate. I got so angry, I broke my duel. I completely, sh I didn't shatter it, but I shattered the uh, frame here. It's completely shattered off. Obviously, you guys know there was a bottom part here that went up to like there or something that my dog actually ruined, chewed off. So I've completely shattered this thing by kicking my door open. There's a piece somewhere. There it is for the door hinge for right there. So I kicked my door open and I already made that hole. But that's because it, there's no door stopper. So <laughs> that actually doesn't help that there's no door stopper. So that was just too easy to do. I don't think my door has a door stopper either. I don't know. Do I? No, see I don't even have a door stopper. I should probably go out and get a couple of door stoppers from Home Depot today. Um, yeah, that probably would be a good idea. Also, I need to clean out this room. This room is a disaster as well. I need to just, I've been trying to get rid of things and just get, get them out of here. I think it's time I literally just throw everything in a bag, throw it in my car and take it to the thrift store. Now, there's a thrift store here that isn't open very late at all. And then there's like Goodwill, which is a bit further away. So I don't know if I'll do the thrift store today, tomorrow, or Monday. Because I do believe that they're not open on Sundays. But it's time for me to get myself in gear. Also, I've ordered three... Excuse me. I've ordered myself three books. I've ordered myself... Um, you know what? I'll just show you guys when I get them. I'll be getting them tomorrow. One is a journal that's called Good Ideas and Bad Ideas. They're all from Amazon. Other two I'll share with you tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys will be interested in them and I'll let you know how they are. But they're supposed to be helping me be an entrepreneur, which is what I've wanted to be for a very long time. And yeah. So hopefully I can start getting my business going, my photography business and everything else. Um, also, I'm going to go try and see if Home Depot maybe has a ginormous wall shelf that I can put over there. I was thinking about putting my whiteboard there, we'll see. Um, but I want a big enough wall shelf for all my cameras. Because I want to be able to place them and I want to be able to see them. And I want to be able to wake up in the morning, see my cameras, see my T Rebel T3. And be like, let's go take some photographs. And then I want to sell those photographs. Because I love photography. So, that's probably something I'll do on the side. I'll probably do something else as well. Um, I'm thinking about designing some clothes, which is something I've thought about for the past two years. Uh, maybe even longer than that. So, hopefully I can just get things started and, and get myself jumping and bumping and whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I'll see you guys around and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay beautiful.